this is Super Bisc. Welcome back to more Eddie Noir. Finish for 360. And who the hell is Chris? Yeah, Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. It's gonna call back up. All right, let's go say hello to Monroe. That way, though. Appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Head down! Oh. 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 
someone to cover my six right now. How long the... Open. He's around here somewhere. That's it. Out of ammo. Real clever asshole. I'm gonna find you. You're surrounded and your buddies are dead. Asshole. I'm gonna find you. No business with Mr. Very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! Oh, wait, where'd the hat come from? <sighs> I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. The hat came out of nowhere. What the supers? He's never very good at reading women. Monroe, and now the hat's gone. Are, damn it! Fuck you! Fuck you! You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. And now we gotta search his office. the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. It's a 
hell of a payroll. Now we have to watch the newspaper. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso? An investigator for California Fire and Light has seen him. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. Oh, you cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. Damn. He's killed Courtney. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. F fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> oh, thank God. Where? <coughs> Fontaine. Dead? <laughs> Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! See you later! Kelso, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor! <coughs> well, I think he's gonna get the doctor himself. 
Okay, and that's it for this episode of LA Noir. If you like the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and for more LA Noir. And until then, see you later.